Good evening, people. Good evening, teacher. How are you tonight? Fine, thank you, and you? Very good, very good. Thank you. Ready for our class today. How was your weekend? Did you have a nice weekend? Hmm? Cleaning the house. <laughs> Cleaning the house. Okay. Okay. Por ahí por lo duro es caliente o es fresco el clima, el dicho. O oh, es es caliente. Es caluroso. Sí. Pero hoy está fresca la noche, se siente algo fresco. Hoy sí, hoy no está tanto. A esta época del año refresca un poco. Ok. Pero sí es calientito. El tráfico para allá es el pesado cuando se viene a San Salvador. Ah, sí. Eso es lo duro, esta carretera. Sí. Es un lío. Que ha crecido mucho, mucho esta, esta, la población aquí. Sí, así es, que han mm. hecho bastante urbanización por toda esa zona. Bastante, bastantes. Ahora ya somos más seres humanos que, que árboles en ese país. Ah, sí, definitivamente. Es, acabamos con toda la vegetación ya. Semos muchos. Hello, good evening, Milagro. Hello, Milagro y las quesadillas. ¿Cuándo nos va a, a traer? Cuando quiera. Estamos a la orden. Oh. Milagro es especialista en quesadillas. Oh, quesadillas. Yes. Wow. De todo tenemos aquí. ¿Y dónde? ¿Cuáles? ¿Cómo eran? ¿Ah? ¿Y dónde ¿Cuál? las dónde ¿Y las vende? Donde me las pidan, ticho. Ah, ¿en serio? Sí. Bueno, ya le vamos Pero, a pedir. Sobre todo este, en algunas tiendas de conveniencia, de las gasolineras. Ah. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. okay. ¿Cómo es tan etiquetada? Se llama el Shaddai. ¿Así dicen la quesadilla? Sí, pero como no tienen etiqueta porque no está empacada, sino que yo la vendo por porciones. No. O sea, yo se la ah. llevo a ellos y ellos la venden porcionadas. Mm. Uh -huh. Y la vendo enteras así cuando la gente me, me pide. Ok. Así que ahí estamos a la orden. Excelente, me encanta la quesadilla. A la orden, teacher. Ok, people. Let's get started tonight with our class. Okay, let me share the screen with you. Okay. 
So we will continue talking about communication at work. Oh, but first I need to take the attendance, the first attendance of the evening. Así es que por favor, vamos a volver acá. Turn on your cameras and respond. Okay. Wendy Patricia Molina. No, yet. Fatima Ifigenia Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you. Ada Susana Cáceres. Present teacher. Gerson David Benjibar. Madeline Gabriela Alfaro. No. Verónica Yesenia Enríquez. Ha pedido permiso. Jennifer Elizabeth Hueso. No. Andrés Alberto Orellana. No. César Humberto López. No. Jacqueline Vanessa López. No yet. No, Cindy. Como, me dijo, no, me dijo. Present. No comer el Cindy Alexandra Ramos. Ok. Carlos Antonio González. Present. Good. Marlon Ernesto Serrano. No. Francisca Delmira Guillén. No yet. Liliana Melissa Olivares. Present. Thank you. Karen Stephanie Flores. No yet. And Maria Milagro Rosales. Okay. Very good. Well, tonight we are we are going to talk about our behavior at work. Uh, so you will be able to react to appropriate and inappropriate behavior at work. What is the meaning of behavior? Who can tell me? What is the meaning of behavior? Mm -hmm. Comportamiento. Comportamiento, ¿verdad? Exacto. No, por acá. We have a definition of of behavior here look behavior is the way that someone acts in different situations that is behavior the way la manera that someone acts como alguien actúa in different situations yeah. For example, some sentences. The company expects polite behavior from all the employees. Do you remember the meaning of polite? What is Cortes. polite? Cortes, verdad? The company expects polite behavior from all the employees. Interrupting other people when they speak is not a good behavior. Yeah, it's not good to interrupt other people. And finally, ex another example, gossiping about co-workers is rude behavior. Rude is the opposite of polite. Yeah, rude. What is gossiping? Chismosear, algo así, chismear. Exacto, verdad, chismear. Hablar de, verdad. Sí. About co-workers is rude behavior. 
So this is the meaning of behavior, okay? Any question with this, with the word behavior? So tonight we are going to talk about appropriate and inappropriate behavior at work. So in your company, in your company. We have two questions here to start thinking about this. Does your company have regulations about employees' behavior? Respond the first question, please. Tell me, does your company, does, uh, I don't have the name, your company, okay, have regulations about employees' behaviors? Yes or no? Tell me, please. I'm asking you. Yes. 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 Ah, okay, good. I want you to think, think about three unacceptable behavior in your company. Okay, think about, and if you want, you can write three unacceptable. So you don't, you, your company is not going to accept that behavior okay write in your notebook three unacceptable behaviors three examples of unacceptable behavior in your company i'll give you two minutes to write about that tres ejemplos de comportamientos inaceptables en la compañía yes Yes, in your company. Real, real situations, okay? Real regulations.
Ok. So I like to hear your your examples. Ok, read me your three examples of unacceptable behavior in your company. In my case, in the company, one is steal. Steal. Yes. Ah. Um, even that we uh, produce and sell alcoholic beverage, we can't arrive drunken to the office. Mm -hmm. And um, not going to work without notifying the boss. Excuse me, the last one? Not getting to work without notifying the boss. Okay. It's unacceptable to steal, yes. to get drunk at work, and not notify when you are not coming to work. Okay, good. Next, please, somebody else. Okay, Ada. Turn on your microphone, Ada, please. Uh, no, it in the clinic hours. Ah, no uh -huh. knocking. Do not talking during work hours. Do not enter warehouse with authorization from the managers. Mm, okay, good. Okay. Next, please, tell us about unacceptable behavior at work in your company. We can hear you, Milagro. Si nos puede compartir, por favor, la, la diapositiva donde está el tema, por favor. The book, okay. So the, 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 31, 31, three examples of unacceptable behavior. Okay, please, next. In my ONG, it's not good, you said a bad word. Okay. And Latinas, no sé cómo se dice impuntual, pero se pronuncia, perdón, Latinas. Lateness. Uh -huh. Lateness. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. To use profane words. Profane words. <clears throat> A profane language. Is a sin. It's unacceptable. To be late is unacceptable. Okay. Good. Okay. Next, please. We are talking about unacceptable behavior in your company. Come on. Don't don't make me ask. So we ha we heard already. Ya escuchamos a Melissa, Milagro. No, Mila no Milagro todavía no. Eh, Cindy and Ada. Okay, I like to hear. Vamos, vamos, vamos. Dígame algo. Me, teacher. Okay, Cesar. Okay. Good, good evening. Good evening. Um, in my company, it is not allowed to be late. Uh huh. We can't eat at desk. Okay. And we can't. Be rude. Rude. Eh, rude es como, como descorte, ¿verdad? Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, rude to clients and co-workers. Okay. Good. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Who else, please? One more.
Bueno, okay. yo, no sé si estoy bien, pero eh, do not obey orders from the immediate boss. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Unacceptable. Ok, that is unacceptable. Fátima, what about you? My company. No disrespect co-worker. Mm -hmm. Como faltar el respeto a los compañeros. Okay, disrespect. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Disrespect co-workers. Okay. Good. And Francis, what is unacceptable in your company, Francis? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. In, in many world meeting in the moon. Uh, with client in the office. In, he is in charge of correspondence is a letter. Mm -hmm. What about Jacqueline? Tell me, Jacqueline, what is... Good, good evening. Uh, yo voy llegando, teacher. No, y hace ratito que se conectó. Vaya, bueno, está bueno, pues. <laughs> okay, so unacceptable behaviors at work. Good. So we'll be talking about that later, okay? Teacher, Now, look at... Uh -huh. Sorry, good evening. Good evening. I understand oh, regulation is, is insane. Uh, es como el reglamento, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay, I have three examples. Okay, good. For example, in my company, do not show up drunk. Okay. Um, do not fight inside the workplace. Okay. It's okay? Yes, yes. Okay. And um, other is uh, do not damage estañar. Damage. Yes, uh-huh. Uh, the war equip equipment. Equipment, okay. Equipment. Okay, interesting. Okay, look at this conversation. Let's, let's see this conversation because here we are going to learn a new structure for, to, to talk in English, okay? Look. A conversation between Claudia and Raul. Listen, I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meetings. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. We should help him instead. Okay, very good. Now, uh, listen and repeat after me, please. Let's practice the conversation. Repeat, please. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? I can't believe it. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in the meeting. You're right. He should not chat in the meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. Absolutely. He should answer his messages after the meetings. 
And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. He should, he should, he should ask for the Agree. We should help him instead. Okay. Any question about the conversation? Teacher. Uh huh. What's the difference between either and neither? Actually, uh, neither. It's almost it's almost the same. So I have seen this use them use it uh, use them indistinctly so okay. please there's no big difference so teacher and what is uh, instead 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 okay en lugar de en vez de Okay. Yeah. What, what what is the problem with Robert according to Claudia and Raul? Uh, his problem is he is addicted, addicted, addicted to the Ah, he's addicted to his phone. Why do the um no, why do Claudia and Raul believe that Robert is addicted to his phone. Why do they believe that? Uh, because he answered the, the no, messages in the message middle of the meeting. Ah, oh, he was answering yeah, <laughs> messages during the meeting. Okay. Uh, do you consider that is rude if you are in a meeting and you are with your phone chatting with someone else? Is that polite or rude? It's rude. It's rude. Yeah. Okay. Good. <clears throat> so, uh, what does Raul? think or what does Raul will will would like to recommend Robert he should answer his message after the meeting ah okay he thinks that that Robert should answer his messages after the meeting okay and what does Raul think about uh, they are talking about Robert? Is it good for, for Raul to be talking about Robert? It's good for Robert. It is good for Robert? Ah. But what does Raúl think? How does Raúl feel? ¿Cómo se siente Raúl? Ah, it is not polite. Ah, he believes that it is not polite either. Okay. To be talking about Robert is not polite either. ¿Ustedes creen que tampoco eso es, es cortés? ¿Verdad? Es, es correcto. Ah, okay. Good. So, in this lesson, we are going to study this structure, okay? Should. Uh huh. The, the pronunciation again. In these words, the L, así como en would o en could, the letter L is 
mute. Okay? And we, we pronounce this should. Okay, can you repeat? Mm. Should. 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 Okay. Should. Good. He should not chat in a meeting. Repeat. He should, he should not, not chat in a meeting. Uh -huh. He should answer his messages after the meetings. He should not talk about him. We should, we should not, not talk, talk about him. him. We should help him instead. We should, we should help, help him, 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 him instead. Okay, very good, very good. Now, should, shouldn't, and we are going to see that later. Now, we have two other questions here to think about. Number one, what are some polite behaviors you expect from your co-workers? What are some polite behaviors you expect from your co-workers? And number two, what are some rude behaviors your co-workers are not expected to do? Rude behaviors, your co-workers and you, of course, are not expected to do. Okay, I will send you to working groups, discuss these questions, and take some notes. Discutan estas dos preguntas en, en el grupo y tomen algunos apuntes y luego comparamos. Okay, these two questions. Okay, I'm going to send you to working groups. To discuss those two questions and take some notes about that. Okay, join your groups. Y voy a poner las preguntas ahí en WhatsApp. Entonces, 
Eh, Fischer, tenemos que eh, enumerar, digámoslo así, algunos comportamientos. Eh, de sus compañeros. Correctos e incorrectos, digámoslo así. ¿no? Yes. Ah, yeah. okay. ok. Ok, entonces. Primero comencemos con polite y después los rude. Uh -huh. ¿Algunos, eh, ¿Algún ejemplo que quieren dar ustedes? Polite. Mm. Ya le digo. Tiene que ser la estructura. Hola. Parecido ¿Eh? a, usando el sure, ¿verdad? Como la que está en la página eh, 32. The war should answer my good morning reading. Algo así, ¿no? Como el reto aquí, ¿verdad? Should answer my good morning reading. Ajá. El guardia, el guardia debe responder mi saludo con, con un buenos días. Entonces, aquí, my work, my co, ¿cómo es? My co-workers. Co-workers. Ajá. Eh, to answer my, my expression of respect when my great, great thing es, ¿verdad? Ajá. Que espero a mi compañero, my co-workers. Workers. Ajá, sure, uh -huh. Usando para así para... creo que son, ¿verdad? Ajá, cabal. Y, y, para... en el otro, y en el otro lado sería algo del contrario, ¿verdad? Que, le, que, que utilicen expresiones eh, groseras quizá, o fuera de lugar, no sé. Ajá, por ejemplo, lo que es inapropiado, aquí está should not. Uh -huh. Do not yell at me, gritarme, ellos no deberían gritar. Uh
Okay, so tell me, what are some polite behaviors you expect from your co-workers? Please, I want to hear you. Be honesty. To be honest, okay. Honest. Uh -huh. Respect, teacher. Respect, uh-huh. Punctuality. Okay, good. Empathy. Empathy. Mm -hmm. Loyalty. Loyalty. Respectful. Mm -hmm. To be respectful. Tolerance. Ah, okay, good. Tolerance. Collaborator. <laughs> Patience. <laughs> Patience, collaboration. Okay. Very good. Yes. And what are some rude behaviors your co workers are not expected to do? Lazy. Ah, to be lazy. <laughs> Laziness. Uh huh. Don't pay attention to me. Uh -huh, okay. Yes. Uh huh. Negligent. Okay. Uh huh. Talk behind my back. <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Talk behind your back. On punctuality. Okay. Use a rude language. Rude language. Profane language. Uh huh. Okay. Anything else? Okay, very good. Now, look at this form. Here we have some sentences using should and shouldn't. Let's take a look to this. Pongamos la atención a las palabras en negrita, en bolts. Dice acá, the guard should answer my good morning greeting. Linda should greet with a firm handshake. The supervisor should use a greeting in his email. You should say please when you ask for a favor. Tell me, in first sentence, the guard should answer my good morning greeting. What is the verb? Answer. Answer. Okay, yes. Answer. 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 Yes. Answer. La W ahí no suena. Answer. Answer. In the second sentence, Linda should greet with a firm handshake. What is the what is the verb? Green. 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 Greet. Okay, the Green. verb is greet. The supervisor should use a greeting in his emails. What is the verb? Use. Use. And the last one, you should say please when you ask for a favor. The verb is right. stay. Okay. So, what form of the verb are we using? ¿Qué forma estamos usando? The infinitive form or the base form? Infinity form. Base form. Base ah, form. We are using the base form. Okay. Entonces, cuando usemos should, vamos a usarlo with the base form. Okay. With the base form. Oops. Pero me está impresionado mientras está hablando. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> what are you drinking? <laughs> Estamos claros acá, ¿no? Y lo que sigue es a phrase to express any suggestion. ¿Verdad? No como el comió carne. A phrase to express a direct suggestion. Good. Let's see the negatives. Darío should not use many emojis in his emails. Bueno, ¿cómo formamos el negative? Simple. ¿Qué le agregamos? Not. 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 ¿Verdad? Solo se le agrega el not. Helen should not speak so loudly. Gabriel should not tell sexist jokes. Your boss should not shout. Y de nuevo, los verbos están en qué forma? Veamos cuál es el verbo acá. Use. Speak. Tell. Speak. Tell. 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 Shout. Shoot. Shoot. And shout. Shout. Uh -huh. De nuevo estamos usando the base the form. Base form. Bueno. Muy bien, esta es la forma. Quiero mostrarles acá algo también. Vamos a ahorrar esto. Acá más ejemplos. ¿eh? Affirmative o positive. I should, you should, he should. ¿Verdad? ¿Vale? I should get up early. You should sleep seven hours. He should eat more vegetables. Affirmative. Negative. I shouldn't go to bed late. You shouldn't eat chocolate. He shouldn't drink coffee. And questions. Observe the questions. Lo único que hacemos es Invertir el orden de las afirmativas, ¿verdad? Y para preguntar, ¿Should I go to the gym? ¿Should you drink more water? ¿Should he do, do sports? ¿Ok? ¿Qué son, ¿Qué son estas? Son órdenes, son recommendations, suggestions. O, ¿Qué son? Recommendations. Yes, ¿verdad? So, entonces, we use should for recommendations or suggestions. Cuando sugerimos algo o recomendamos algo. We use should. ¿Ok? ¿Alguna pregunta con esto? No. Como está el centro fugado. Vale. Pero ahorita tengo ropa ahí, Samuel. Veamos entonces una práctica sobre esto. A la barca. Ya haría, podría. Oh. Pero no, le, no les he echado agua. ¿Por qué la puedo sacar y usar solo el centro fugado? Es lo único que necesito. Look at these sentences, please. Yeah. Vamos a hacer la primera y luego ustedes hacen el resto. Thomas wants to travel. Vamos a señalar. Thomas wants to travel to Europe next summer. ¿Qué debería de hacer? ¿Qué le recomendamos? He should save his money. He shouldn't save his money. Or he should save 
His money. ¿Cuál es la forma correcta? A. 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 A, ¿verdad? He should save his money. Eso es lo correcto. Thomas wants to travel to Europe next summer. He should save his money. Ok. Les envío esto al WhatsApp y lo pongo a trabajar y lo responden, por favor. Seleccionen la respuesta correcta para cada caso. Hay algunas preguntas acá también, ¿verdad? Algunas que son preguntas y otras son negativas. Tienen que leer el contexto para saber qué es lo, lo correcto. ¿Ok? Bien. Voy a tomar la segunda asistencia antes de mandarlos a trabajar para no traerlos de regreso a las nueve. Ok. Vamos a empezar desde abajo para... Para que Milagro no se sienta así discriminada. María, María Milagro Rosales. A las tres tiene la cita mi mamá. Gracias, teacher. Ok, good. Karen Stephanie Flores. No entró. Liliana Melissa Olivares. Present. Thank you. Francisca Delmira Guillén. Present, teacher. Present. Thank you. Marlon Ernesto Serrano. No está. Carlos Antonio González. Se nos fue. Eh, Cindy Alexandra Ramos. Cindy. Present teacher. Ok. Jacqueline Vanessa López. Present teacher. Thank you. César Humberto López. Present. Ok. Andrés Alberto Orellana. No está. Jennifer Elizabeth Hueso. No está. Verónica Yesenia Enríquez. No está. Madeline, Gabriela, Alfaro no está, Erson David Mengíbar no está, Ada Susana Cáceres. Present teacher. Thank you. Fátima Ifigenia López. Present teacher. And Wendy Patricia Molina. Present teacher. Ok, very good. Vamos a... Van a trabajar en grupo de nuevo esto. Y ya les agrego ahí al WhatsApp el ejercicio.
Uh, I. Sure when I. Sure when la, la, sure la, when la, I. Sure, uh, sure no. when I meet you at the store. Mm -hmm. At six o'clock. Mm -hmm. Sería la. Ah, no, letra A. Las siete. The frost is very dangerous. The, they, they shouldn't dry. Dry. La primera. La primera. Ajá. They shouldn't dry. They're at night. Mm -hmm. Y la ocho. La ocho era. I want I to improve want my English. To improve my English. What should what should do? Uh -huh. Or should I do? Right. Ah, sí. Should I do? Sí, should I do? Necesita la persona, ajá. Uh ajá. -huh. La nueva. La nueva. Where, where should I put? Where should, where should I put? Or no. should where I put? Or where? <laughs> you tell me I like when I live. Yeah, I'm very sure a lot of problems. Espérenme, la nueve. Es la B. Para mí es la A. Where should I put? Ah, bye. Gracias. Es que yo me perdí. La diez sería you shouldn't. Para mí que es la A. Should tell. Tú deberías decir la verdad. La verdad. Yes, ma. I want to be curious. Um, I want to improve my English. What? What? I should do. Creo que sería what I what should I do? La B. B. La B, A, B. No, resign. Sí. Sí. Yes. Number nine. Where should I put? Where should I put my books over there on the desk? I think nine is A.
Nice, nice. The baby. How should? How should they? I tell to about my school grades. La A sería entonces. O la B. O la C, quiero decir. La A o la C, que dice should. No, la C I... no puede ser. No. Sería como podría hablar acerca de mis grados de escuela. ¿Cómo podría, pues, la... al, al pobre señor? No te vi, le. Y se ¿Y fue. ¿Qué es? La eh, 49. Uh, para San José. Oh, yes. Okay, welcome back. Let me check your work. Vamos a revisar. Number two. ¿Quién quiere empezar? Me. Okay, go ahead, Melissa. Number two says, um, should he go to Today, yes, he, yes, he should go. Letter B. Letter B, correct. Okay, Melissa, pass the ball, please. Um, um, the thing, Marin. Ay, César, está bien sonriendo. No, César, está bien sonriendo. <laughs> okay, César. Number three. Ya no me voy a reír, pues. No, ya no. <laughs> okay, number three is... Should I fix the sink? No, you shouldn't fix the sink. Okay, okay. good. Letter, letter A. Letter A, perfect. Pass it, Cesar. Okay. Eh, milagro, porque está desconectada. <risa> <risa> milagro, are you there? Ya se durmió. Ah, no. <risa> I'm sorry, no trabajé. No. No. Ok. Estaba cenando, lo siento. Ok, ok. Now, somebody else, entonces, César. Okay, Ada. Uh, okay. <laughs> Pero voy a salirme, teacher, porque no tengo aquí la pantalla esa. Vaya. Okay. Ya la voy a leer. Okay. Y no lo puedo ver ni la pantalla. La captura. Ajá. Ay, Dios, teacher. <laughs> I go, I go, I go, I see. Number four. Three. Four. Four. Oh, no. I have a really big problem. What? 
eh, yo tengo letter I. Ajá. I should do. I should do. Um, what I should no. do. Eso, what should I do? Eso no es exacto. Hey, what should I do? What should I do? Ok, ok, good. A ver, le ayudé, le ayudé. Eso. <risa> pásela, Ada, pásela. Andrés, que acaba de llegar. Vaya, bienvenido, Andrés. <risa> Hello everybody. Hello. How are you? Very good, very good. <laughs> Can you read number six, please? Sí. Uh, this is letter B. Letter B, okay. Léelo, léelo. Uh, when should should do should I meet you you at the store at six o'clock? Okay, perfect, very good. Nice. Pásela, pásela, and Andres. Okay, that's um, Fatima. Good, Fatima, number seven. That rules is very danger. They should drive their I night. Letter A. Yes. Yes, okay, good. Pass it, Fatima. Wendy. Okay, Wendy, number eight, please. I want to improve my English. Uh, what, what should I do? Excellent. Letter B. Letter B. Good. Pass the ball, please, Wendy. Um, let me see. Cindy. Okay, Cindy, number nine, please. Eh, nueve, permitan un momentito, one moment, one moment. Eh, where I put my books? Over there on the desk. Mm, letter B. Letter B. No, estamos practicando shoot. <laughs> okay, letter C. Letter should, C. Should where I put no, my. I... No. C. I, maybe? No, it's letter A. a. <laughs> yes, it's a question. Where a. should I put my books? Over there on the desk. Okay, letter A. Pass the ball, Cindy. Jacqueline. <laughs> okay, Jacqueline. Son malo, va todo diciendo Jacqueline, Jacqueline. Este, Number 10. Number 10 is you. Show tell no you should I, you should tell the truth because telling a lie can bring you a lot of trouble. Yes, letter A. A correct. Very good. Pass the ball, Jacqueline. Um pero si todo ya dijeron. Ah, no. Bueno, creo que sí, pero a mi amiga Francisca, la jefa de recursos humanos. <laughs> ok, Francis, 11. Bye. Um, are you sure? 
Eleven. Eleven. Ah, okay. I want to become rich and famous. Famous. What should I do? Okay, good. Very good. Pass it, Francis. Okay, quiero ver. No importa que se repita. Fátima. Ok, Fátima, 12. You should always look good well before you cross the street. Okay, excellent. Continue, Fátima, pass the ball. Andrés. Ok, Andrés. Le quiten, le quiten. Thirteen. Thirteen o fourteen? Thirteen. One, three, thirteen. Nice. I think she'll see a doctor. You look very sick. I think should see A, B, or C. Uh, see, I uh -huh. think uh, I think you should see a doctor. Uh -huh. You look very sick. Ah, okay, ahora sí, muy bien. Pass the ball, Andres. Milagro. Ya tuvo el tiempo para avanzar. Pero he estado sí. mirando. Pero ya agarré el hilo, eso es bueno, así que. Eso sí, ya. Ya, ya comió hasta café con quesadilla, comió ya. Sí. Pero... Sí, mínimo. Queremos quesadillas con café. Oh. Ay. No tengo, muy no tengo muy claro este tema, es la verdad. Esta es una pregunta, ¿verdad? La primera, sí. Uh -huh. Son dos respuestas. Una para la pregunta y otra para la respuesta. No, me doy. No, 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 no puedo. No le hallo. No le haya. No. A ver, ¿quién le ayuda Mira. a Milagro? Mira, sí, Milagro. Letter C, Milagro. Letter C, yes. Letter C. Letter C. Pero allí dice should y shouldn't. Exacto. Porque son dos respuestas. Should, should I eat the candy? No, you shouldn't. No, you shouldn't. Porque son dos respuestas las que tenía ese ejercicio. La más difícil le puso Andrés, mire, qué bárbaro. Sí, cruel. Pues le estaba ayudando, le estoy ayudando. Thank you. Ok, pass the ball, milagro. Faltan dos. César. Ok, César, 15. Eso es desquite también, va. No, 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 no. Eso es cariño. Ah, vaya, no me quiera mucho. No me quiera mucho, sí. But you shouldn't make very much noise. The baby asleep. Ah, ok. Yes, good. And the last one, Cesar. ¿A quién? The last one. Eh, con la que comenzamos, Melissa. <laughs> ok, good. Ese sí es de esquita. Totalmente, con dedicatoria, Iba. Sí. Um, excuse me. Who should I talk to about my school grades? Ok, letter A, ¿verdad? 
Muy bien. Yes. Muy bien. Ok, people. Very good. Vamos a seguir reforzando esto otro poquito. Necesitamos verlo. Vamos a... Ok, let me share the screen. Compartir pantalla. Y acá. Vean. We have different situations here at work. And you see, there are four different situations. Number one, this uh, Peter is the new supervisor. He likes to give orders. He never says please. ¿Verdad? ¿Qué se le sugiere a Peter? Bueno, Peter should ask polite requests. And Peter should say please when he asks for something. Entonces, lo que le sugieren a Peter, ¿verdad? Por esa circunstancia. Veamos los otros tres. Los voy a leer para que nos queden, si hay alguna duda, mejor dicho. When Carl is angry or things are not as he expects, he shouts. Ok. ¿Qué hace Carl when he is angry? Uh, he shouts. Ok. What is shout? Yo se le iba a preguntar, teacher, porque no sé qué es chat. Ah, ¿alguien, ¿alguien sabe? ¿Qué? Grita. Grita, ok. Grita. Imagínense en el trabajo. ¿Conocen a alguien así en el trabajo? ¿Ah? When Carl is angry. Sí, ¿verdad? Bueno, si está aquí no me digan. <risa> ok. La siguiente dice. My assistant never uses a saluta salutation in her emails. Yeah. Salutation in her email. No. Yeah. Never uses. ¿Qué le recomiendan a, 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 a esa assistant? Y la última. Lucy likes to tell jokes in the office. And she louds very loudly. Ah, she louds. Quizá aquí querían decir she laughs. And with the louds, aquí en este... Debería ser she laugh. Very loudly. What is jokes? ¿Qué es jokes? What's up? Bromas. Bromas. Bro bromas. Ajá. Chiste. Chiste. Ajá. Pero el problema no es ese. El problema es que she laugh. Very loudly. Yeah. What is laugh? <laughs> and she louds very loudly. Huh? Se ríe muy fuerte. Se Uy. Uy, eso sonó como una risa de medianoche. Es que era un ejemplo, era un ejemplo práctico de la risa del guasón. Para, para que vean que es práctica la cosa. Va, entonces, ¿qué, les, qué sugieren a las personas en, en cada circunstancia? Eso es lo que van a hacer ahorita. Van a sugerir algo. ¿Qué deben de hacer? 
Vean, vean el ejemplo que tienen acá. En la primera circunstancia dice, Peter is the supervisor. Y le encanta dar órdenes. Y nunca dice, por favor. Entonces le sugieren, Peter should ask polite requests. And Peter should say please. When he asks for something. ¿Verdad? Eso es lo que debería hacer Peter. ¿Ok? Les doy... Unos minutitos para que escriban algo para cada caso. Okay.
Okay, so what are your suggestions? Let me read again the situation number two. It says, when Carl is angry or things are not as he expects, he shouts. Okay, uh, Ada, what is your suggestion to Carl? Carl Schultz is uh, the calm down and ask for things, please. Ah, uh -huh. Carl should calm down. Uh, and uh -huh. ask for things, please. Okay, good. Good. What about you, Andres? What is your suggestion to Carl? Carl should control his emotion when he is angry. Ah, okay. Good. Very good. And Cesar, what is your suggestion to Carl? Carl should wait for the anger to subside to speak with more respect. <clears throat> okay. Very good, very good. Now, let's see the second situation. Or the third situation, number three. My assistant never uses a salutation in her emails. What is your suggestion, Jacqueline? Uh, sería, my assistant should salutation in her emails. Salutation is not a verb. I use. Ah, okay. <laughs> use Re a salutation. Repeat, please. Sería, my assistant should use a salutation in her emails. Ah, okay, very good. Fatima? What is your suggestion for the assistant? She should include the salutation in her email. Ah, okay, very good, very good. And situation four. Lucy likes to tell jokes in the office. She louds very loudly, or she laughs very loudly. What is your suggestion to Lucy, uh, Melissa? Lucy should moderate her laugh or tell jokes during lunch. Okay, good. And you, Francis, what do you recommend to Lucy? Uh, I don't know. No? No. Okay, vamos a ver. Wendy? Lucy, show loud softer. Should laugh softer. Okay. Okay. Veo, ninguno hizo una sugerencia usando shouldn't. Por hey, ejemplo. Teacher. Ah, ok. Sí. A ver, Andrés. Yo también. Ah, ok. Escuchemos Lucy, a Andrés. Ajá. Lucy, Lucy should silent loud to heart in the office. Ah, ok. Lucy shouldn't laugh too hard in the office. Good. And Jacqueline? Jacqueline. Ah. Sí, teacher, pero no sé si está bien en la primera. A ver, veamos. Carl shouldn't... Eh, Carl shouldn't sh shout... Ajá. 
Ay, no sé cómo decir lo demás cuando esté enojado. When he's angry. Exacto, así es, muy bien. Car shouldn't shout when he's angry. Perfecto, perfecto. Muy bien. Ahora les tengo por acá otras situations. Vamos a ver. Y eso está lavada. Ok. Aquí les tengo una serie de preguntas para conversar. To talk. Ok. So I, I'm, I'm going to send you to small groups and I want you to use these questions to talk. Quiero que utilicen estas preguntas para conversar. No tienen que ir en orden, escojan la que más les guste, ¿verdad? Y, y lancen eh, la pregunta a su compañero. Por ejemplo, a ver, si yo les pregunto, a ver qué, qué me dicen. Eh, vaya, hay... Okay, number three. I want to become rich. What should I do? Give me recommendations. Give me your suggestions. I want to become rich. What should I do? I work a lot. <laughs> you should work. You should a lot. Work a lot. Acuérdense, la forma. You should work, should, y el verbo. You should work a lot. Ok, ¿qué más? You should ahorrar. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo, decimos, ¿cómo decimos ahorrar? A ver. Save. Save. Okay. You should play the lot, the, the lotto. The lotto. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lottery. <laughs> yeah. So, so esa, esa es la idea, ¿verdad? En el grupo, uno hace la pregunta y los otros, más como son grupos de tres, los otros le, le, le dan ideas, le dan respuesta. Ok. De esa forma vamos a trabajar. Escojan la, la pregunta que ustedes quieran. Y se la lanzan a sus compañeros. Y los demás deben de darle una sugerencia. Creativa, ¿verdad? Y usen la imaginación. Así es que eh, los envío a los grupos. Y esto es speaking, ¿ok? Esto no es de escribir. Es de speak, speak, speak. Muy bien. Vamos. Lo va a comprar, lo va a compartir el WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, sí. Okay. Okay, ahorita les comparto.
buenísimo para bajar. Es un ejercicio muy cardiovascular. Ok. Ajá, sí, sería... Try, but I'm not sure if I can. Sería yes, you. You can. <laughs> sería you. You yeah, should clean. make it. Sale. I, I should eat salad and, and more greens and do it three, three times per day. In, in um, the... Drink two liters of water, uh, make exercise at least 40 minutes per day. And I can, <laughs> and, and Jacqueline says that is uh, the, the jump rope is perfect uh -huh. for lose weight. Eso so. puede ser 20 minutos nada más, o 10 minutos <laughs> sería para comenzar, <laughs> luego 20. In the breakfast. You usual, usual eat um, eggs with vegetable for first portion of vegetable, and then and, in uh, a, an omelet, omelet, uh -huh, or picado, or uh -huh. coloroco y, o con ejotes. Ajá, uh -huh. or en tomatada, tomatada, no sé cómo se llama. Ok, no, no sé. And then, in, in middle morning, you... No, oh, that's the friend. Uh, well, but... Another person, maybe in the past, uh, uh, talk with me, but I don't see in the future and no don't talk anymore maybe one una vez <laughs> <laughs> yeah me in the past and uh, talk about and in, in chat rooms with would we well, will uh, more friends the everybody country that friends in Central America in Spain and USA that international <laughs> yeah, the kid, the kid pass the more, more chat <laughs> that the con red working, red networking that eh, siempre seguimos eh, la, la relación. Así que <laughs> tengo bastante <laughs> amigos. <laughs> yes, I do, sir. No, pero sería eh, I should I should You, you should You should Ajá, uh -huh, you should porque está mm. hablando de You should uh, Supermarket eh, La perdí en el supermercado No, sería como pegar, digamos avisos o anuncios uh, I lost uh -huh. my pet Ajá, que perdió a su bucato. Está diciendo, ah, el gato. El gato. Ajá. 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 O sea, yo o, perdí o mi gato. gato. Sí, el gato, eh, ajá. ajá. Sí, sí, gato, el gato. I lost my pet cat. I lost my pet cat. cat. Sí, gato es. What should I do? You sure? You sure? Got in the park. <laughs> Inventando. Y otra de respuesta. You sure? Paste, paste, despegar. Paste. Eh, huh? The post. Eh, sería brochure, no, sería flyers. This try. Mm -hmm. Volantes, ajá. Volante, ajá, o pegarlos en el árbol también, ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. You should paste 
flyers okay. on the right. in, in the streets. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. otra. Está haciendo calor donde ustedes están. Sí, mucho. Yes. Very hot. Oh, no. I need water. Oh, coca. Hola. O oh, bebida espirituosa, como dice Melissa. <risa> ok. Me van a dar más calor. El lunes apenas. Sí, muy, muy temprano <risa> en la semana. <laughs> no, it's a practice that the Guadalupe Reyes. <laughs> okay, people, the last attendance. Wendy Patricia Molina. Present teacher. Fat, gracias. Fatima Ifigenia López. Present teacher. Thank you, Ada Susana Cáceres. Present teacher. Thank you. César Humberto López. Present. Okay, Jacqueline Vanessa López. No estoy en el baño. <laughs> Present. Okay, Cindy Alexandra Ramos. Se nos cayó. Carlos no está, Marlon tampoco, Francisca Delmira Guillén. Present, present teacher. Thank you, Liliana Melissa Olivares. Present. Ok, and María Milagro Rosales se fue. Ok, people. Hola. A mí no me mencionó. Present. No te mencioné, de verdad. André, ah, Andrés Alberto Orellana Pérez. Está. Yeah, present. Okay, very good. Okay, people, that's all for tonight. Yeah. Uh, see you tomorrow, please. See you tomorrow. And have a good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. Everybody, see you tomorrow good night. tonight. Thank you, teacher. Okay. See you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Very good. Very good.